Hey guys, Ryan Carruthers here from the BetfairTradingCommunity.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you basically what I think the goal is with every strategy that you're, you're aiming to build or you're aiming to use. Now it's going to be totally different to probably what you're used to. This is going to involve a little bit of smart thinking um, and some people might not agree with me uh, or might start throwing things out there like I'm not really bothered about value or loads of different things like that. But I am bothered about value. Value is key. But this is the plan and what I want you to be thinking about or what I think about when it comes to a strategy. And I'm going to explain this image in detail and how you can basically use this to sort of think about every strategy and work your way through your strategy. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and uh, if there's any comments, make sure you put them in the comments below. Now, this one is going to involve a little bit of smart thinking, so please do stick with me. So I'm going to explain um, what is happening here. So on the left, we have the upside and then we have max, which stands for max effort and explore, which means we're exploring something. And then over here, we have reliable. And then we have the minimum effort, and we're trying to exploit it. Now, down here, this is strategy. And this is where we move it around. Now, what happens with a strategy is when we're starting out, we start here. We're thinking about the upside. How much money are we going to make from this strategy? Is the strategy profitable? We put the max amount of effort in, and we're really, really exploring it. And the goal for me is to try and get this strategy over here to be reliable, which means minimum amount of effort and exploiting that strategy. But what happens a lot of the time is we, we get stuck here in the middle ground. We start with really, really high expectations and the best intentions in the world. And we put all of the effort in that we need. Like we work really, really hard with it. We're exploring it. We're doing everything that we need. We're tracking our results. And then we start the path to moving it towards reliable. We get into the, min into the middle here. And then something happens, it, it might be a life, it might be a few bad results, something happens, which means we don't even do the minimum amount of work on it. So we're burnt out, maybe, so we're sick of putting all of this effort into a strategy, so we just don't do any of it. Or maybe we're sick of exploring the strategy, so we don't do anything. We don't know how to explore the strategy, or we get stuck. So then it gets stuck here, and we never get to move it over here. And what happens when we move it over here is that we basically do the minimum amount of work on that strategy and we exploit that strategy for the most profit. So what that really means is that the minimum amount of work is very, very simple. We get the results, like we get our results for the strategy for that day. We trade them in the minimum way possible like stick into the plan, really, really minimum. And then we do the, the minimum we need of results so that we can exploit the strategy. Because what you really need is, and a lot of people get really, really confused with this, is you need one strategy. So you need to start with one strategy. You start here in the upside, and then we move it into reliable. Then when we've got that one strategy, we exploit that strategy we do the minimum amount of work on it, then that gives us the time to add in another strategy over here. So then what we can do is we can start again. So we can add another strategy here. Then we can do the max amount of work. We can explore this strategy and we can move it over here. So then we end up with two reliable strategies. But people don't do this. They, what they end up with is this scenario, where they have like two strategies here, sometimes even three strategies here, and they just don't, it's just all crazy. They're not doing any work on it. They're not doing the max, they're not exploring it, they're not exploiting it. Nothing is going on with that strategy. So the goal is to start with one strategy and then get it over here so it becomes reliable, so that you know that if you trade those games that fit that criteria that you have put the maximum amount of effort into, you've explored, and now you are ready to use it to do the minimum amount on it and to exploit it. Then you can add another strategy here, and then you could do the same to move that over, and then you can do that 
here. This is the exact process that I have done for my trading. So I started with lay the draw over here. So the upside was that I wanted to make money on Betfair. I was putting the maximum amount of effort in and I was exploring it. So maximum amount of effort, I was looking at all of the data, I was making sure I was tracking everything, I was exploring all of the angles, getting my results, exploring that, go through everything that I needed. Then as time went on, it moved to here and it was moving towards reliable. Now I can do the minimum amount of work on that strategy and I can exploit it. So I now have more time to do the things that I actually want to do as well. So I could spend time with the family, I can spend time in the community, and I can also then work on another one of these. So then this can come into this section, which is exactly what happened. So then I can look at doing my split stake strategy, which really divides opinion. But I put the maximum, a maximum amount of work into it. I explore it. I explore all of the results. I go deep into it. And I can do that because I have time to do it because I have this reliable strategy here, which is being exploited. So I really do hope this makes sense. It's a little bit of a slightly different thinking to probably what most people are thinking when it comes to trading but it's just I really like it it's a really visual way of explaining it and detailing it and showing you how I think you need to build your strategies please let me know in the comments below what you thought of this video and I'll be back next week with another one